Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to the Japan Sungu channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the chart box office for September 5th. Um, so first of all, we get to see that um, as it's a week uh, weekday and not a holiday either, um, of course the box office is going to be uh, quite little. And this is in fact the first time we've seen Barbie off of a million dollars. Um, every other day, it's been around or over a million dollars. Now it's not. Um, however, it has been almost 50 days since it was released. So, yeah, that's kind of insane. And then, of course, we get to see here the top five is still the same. Um... And it'll probably stay the same for a little while until the next two movies for um, Friday are released. And we might actually get to see Oppenheimer off of the top five for the first time. Um, which is kind of sad when you think about how long it's been in there. As well as how good of a movie um, it did at the box office. And then, of course, we get to see here some movies went up, some went down. Uh, Retribution's data it takes a probably takes a long time to find since I never since it's never really there. Meg Two, uh, Mission Impossible, yeah, they're all there. Oh, Mission Impossible is also um, gaining on the new Indiana Jones movie. It's Less than four million dollars away. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's three point five million dollars away. Um, I'm not sure if it will. Um, I if it will take it this weekend. I do think that it will happen though. So next, uh, we get to see that elemental. There's still a bunch of theaters. There's over 4,000 of them that were released because Disney decided to re-release it. Um, and it's not doing that well. $27 per theater is not that good. Um, like, compared to all of the other ones, um, I think that the only ones that actually have less are at the very bottom. Yeah, it, that's that's it. So yeah, four thousand theaters and one hundred ten thousand dollars is not that good. Um, you can see here, of course, at the bottom, of course, there's the dying out movies that you probably won't see in a week or two, like the last voyage of the Dementor will probably exit the theaters next week. Same thing with Asteroid City. It's not doing well either. I'm not sure how long the Super Mario Bro movie will be on here. However, it is off the $1,000 mark. It's at $995. So I don't really expect it to be on this list much longer. Like, um, Insidious the Red Door just ended its um, box office time. Now let's go over to the domestic charts. Like, um... For all of the 2023 movies. Um, this might actually take quite a while. Since the numbers usually takes a little while to load. Sometimes it's very smooth. And sometimes it takes a long time. So. Like all of these movies. it's They're doing okay for a weekday. It's just like a normal, a normal weekday. Just casually gaining a couple hundred thousand dollars per movie. Um, I'm kind of surprised of how good Bottoms is doing, though. Um, then we go over to the um, all-2023 domestic chart. And I think that Oppenheimer is going to stand at number five spot. Honestly, I don't think it's going to be Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Um... Sound Freedom, on the other hand, I it might beat John Wick Chapter 4. Um, then we go over down to the top 20. And 
um, TMN2 just beat The Flash and Scream 6. Now it is at number 16. However, there is a massive gap between Scream 6 and Fast 10. Um, around $38 million gap, I think. So I don't really think that... I, I can't really see TMN2 reaching or gaining 38 or, or 40 million dollars because it's been out for a little while so I don't really think that's gonna happen then we go down to the top 25 you can see Haunted Mansion is you know stuck at 64 million dollars now I didn't think that it was going to reach the top 25 to be honest and then we got Blue Beetle at 59 million it's approaching um, um, the number 26 spot and number 25 spot. Um, superhero movies hasn't re haven't really been doing that well. As you can see, Shazam 2 is at number 28, Blue Beetle. It's still got a long way to go. Haunted Mansion um, isn't... Wait, Haunted Mansion isn't a, a superhero movie, but like... And then when you reach the top five, yeah, there are some that did really well. Um, but some of them didn't really make back their budget. Anyways, let's go down here to the top 30. The Equalizer 3, it's probably um, going to reach uh, the $50 million mark by Thursday. Not Wednesday, because unless it... Wait, actually, Wednesday, most movies actually gain. So, The Equalizer 3 might actually reach $50 million tomorrow. However, I don't think so. Because it's got three... Because it gained uh, $3 million. However, we'll see. Now, Gran Turismo... Um, definitely think it will reach 65 and plain tomorrow maybe even missing but i'm but it's going to take a maybe until the weekend for it to reach 35 million dollars and pass knock at the cabin uh strays uh not doing that well anymore it had a run and now it's starting to slow down uh, it's at number 43 and has been for quite a while now let's go over here um, Retribution and The Hill are both, uh, next to each other since Retribution got its, uh, data back. It's at number 67 and The Hill's at number 68. When the, um, numbers are revealed for Retribution or the data is gained, it's obviously going to beat Love Again and it may reach Operation Fortune. However, it's going to need a lot more money to reach Sisu, um, soon. Meanwhile, the hell, it's gonna take a little bit longer for them to reach that. Bottoms, um, knowing that it gained, like, $200,000 today, I wouldn't be surprised if it gained, like, 200000 or $150,000 tomorrow. So it's probably going to reach number 72 and beat Infinity Pool. And let's go down here. Yeah, Theater Camp is still there. Uh, Golda, it's still, um, like, going. However, it's not gaining as much as the other three that were released. And then finally, we get to see uh, the end um, of the top 100. As you can see, Jules is still there. However, I'm not sure if it will be there for much longer as... Today's Thursday, but this was is but this has Tuesday's uh data, and on Friday, which is tomorrow when I'm releasing this, we get to see two new sequel movies, The Nun Two and My Big Fat Greek Wedding Three. They're gonna be releasing on Friday, and yeah, I don't really think that's going to do very well for Jules. Is going to knock it off the top 100 as well as one of the um, nearby movies off the top 100. Um, on September 7th, we get um, another limited release. Um,
Um, and tomorrow we get a bunch of new uh, limited release movies as well as two official movies. Um, there's really... Oh, I do see a new September release. Um, it lives inside. I have not seen this on the um, charts. And then, yeah, I've it's I've seen um, pretty much all of.